Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Belfet. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at Rufa Palace outgoing Iraqi Ambassador to Bahrain, Dr. Ahmed Naif Al Dilemi. Now His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to Dr. Al Dilemi for his efforts in strengthening fraternal bilateral relations, affirming the importance of further developing relations in all fields. His Royal Highness wished Iraq continued progress, prosperity and stability. During their meeting, the Crown Prince reviewed with the outgoing ambassador issues of mutual concern. For his part, Dr. Delemi expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, for the support he has received in Bahrain. He wished the kingdom further progress and prosperity under its wise leadership. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at Rufa Palace a delegation of members of the British Parliament led by members of Parliament and House of Commons Defence Committee member Leo Duserte. President who was the Ambassador of Bahrain to the United Kingdom Sheikh Fawaz bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness praised the strategic relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom at all levels which date back to more than two centuries. The Crown Prince noted Bahrain's and the UK's keenness on bolstering relations towards further bilateral cooperation to benefit both countries and their people. His Royal Highness reviewed with the delegation the course of bilateral cooperation and means of further strengthening these relations in various fields. The Crown Prince also discussed with the delegation the latest regional and international developments. He noted the role of the United Kingdom in maintaining the region's security and stability and in combating terrorism. The Royal Guard Commander His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited today a unit of Bahrain Defense Force accompanied by the Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force His Highness Major General Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and a number of senior Royal Guard officers. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was briefed on developments and preparation programs as well as the military training of the Special Royal Force. He conveyed the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the officers for their noble sacrifices while fighting alongside the forces of the Arab coalition to support legitimacy in Yemen led by the Saudi armed forces. He highlighted the appreciation of the Arab coalition forces led by Saudi Arabia for the BDF officers, stating that this appreciation is a result of their sincere efforts and their advanced military skills in Yemen. His Highness hailed their military achievements, adding that the BDF spares no effort in defending the kingdom and supporting brotherly relations alongside and brotherly nations alongside all other national forces in implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. We can defend ourselves with good capability against any threat. وأصبح عدوه واحد Royal Guard, the commander and chairman of the Higher Organizing Committee of the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference, the BIDEC, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for patronizing the international event. His Highness added that the kingdom's hosting of BIDEC reflects the leadership's aspirations of the benefiting from the kingdom's distinguished location on the international events map. He stated that the BIDEC is considered the first comprehensive international exhibition in the region that consists of defense methods. The Zionists affirmed that uh, hosting the event asserts the success of the exhibition industry in the kingdom and that the exhibition will add a new achievement to Bahrain's exhibition industry sector. Sheikh Nasser noted that the exhibition's accompanying events will enhance the status of the kingdom as a leading destination in hosting global events. He added that the exhibition will witness a wide 
wide participation of major international companies specialized in the defense industry. His Highness hailed the efforts of all those who worked for the success of the exhibition to achieve His Majesty the King's vision of achieving sustainable development. He expressed a pride in Bahrain Defense Forces' development and readiness. Sheikh Nasser asserted that the world today witnesses a series of successive events that cast their influence and dangers on regional and international security and calls for forming coalition to face all challenges. His Highness stated that it is everyone's responsibility to facilitate strategic partnerships and coalitions to combat terrorism. Under the patronage of the Commander of the Royal Guard and Chairman of the Supreme Organizing Committee of the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference, BIDEC, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, a press conference was held today regarding the aims of the event. BIDEC is a biennial event which will be open tomorrow under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. More in this report with Sarah Al Break. Held under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, the Kingdom of Bahrain's first tri-service defense exhibition, Land, Sea and Air. The Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference, BIDEC, took place and was organized at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center from the 16th through the 18th of October 2017. On behalf of His Highness Brigadier Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Commander of the Bahrain Royal Guard and Chairman of the BIDEC 2017, Brigadier General Deputy Commander Hamad Al Naimi was present along with senior officials. We are privileged to have uh, the Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies, also known as Durasat, as the knowledge partner in the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference. Durasat is organizing uh, MIMAC, the Middle East Military Alliances and Coalitions Conference, and uh, we have a dedicated team. Uh, to address this issue. We are collaborating with our two main partners in organizing this conference, the uh, Islamic Military Counter-Terrorism Coalition and the Arab Coalition to Support Legitimacy in Yemen. Uh, both are very active uh, alliances that Bahrain are uh, actively participating in. Uh, Bahrain has been uh, active in the Arab Alliance for the past three years in preserving peace and security uh, in the region. And now with the newly established Islamic Alliance, uh, established by the and led by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Uh, Bahrain also takes pride in being a founding member and an active uh, member in this alliance. And having them as partners with us in this conference uh, is very uh, important for us for two main reasons. First, uh, counterterrorism is not only about military might, but it's about providing uh, platforms such as the conference we are hosting to provide strategic thought and insight to provide us with better understanding on the developments uh, around us and to provide the necessary platforms with the diversified uh, attendees and participants and speakers from military experts, uh, diplomats, politicians, uh, strategists to come together collectively uh, and address common concerns. This international conference examines two main aspects, the strategic political perspective of military alliance and the military operational perspective. It represents a global platform for exchanging ideas and opinions on security and military developments in the regional and international arenas, the participation of the Arab coalition forces to support legitimacy in Yemen, and the Islamic Military Coalition to Counter Terrorism under the leadership of Saudi Arabia, headed by His Excellency General Rahil Sharif, the military commander of the Islamic Military Coalition to Counter Terrorism. General Rahil Sharif, the military commander of the uh, Islamic uh, Military Counter Terrorism Coalition, uh, stems and emanates from his uh, confidence in, in Bahrain as being uh, a main partner with them, the Islamic uh, Coalition. Having them uh, participating with us uh, here in the conference, having him personally uh, choosing Bahrain to address the international community uh, through the conference is a matter that we are very proud of. In context of strengthening the Kingdom of Bahrain as a center for entrepreneurship and as an attractive environment for the exhibition industry in the region, commenting on that same topic, the CEO of Bahrain Authority for Tourism and Exhibition, His Excellency Sheikh Khalid bin Hamoud Al Khalifa, said that the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference 2017 further positions the Kingdom on an international level.
First of all, I would like to thank uh, His Highness uh, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad, the Chairman of the Executive Committee for Organizing BIDEC, uh, for the continuous efforts to put together uh, such an event. Of course, BIDEC uh, doesn't only take place in uh, the convention center, uh, the exhibition center here, but uh, has other also venues. Uh, there are more than 180 exhibitors uh, coming from uh, across the world participating in this event. Also, there's MAMEC, uh, a conference. Uh, in parallel with the uh, exhibition. Uh, all of this, of course, will contribute into the economy uh, uh, by enhancing uh, the tourism nights and uh, it will also be a biannual event which brings sustainability to the calendar of events. This is Sarah Break reporting for Bahrain International. The Royal Guard Deputy Commander Brigadier Hamad Khalifa Naimi asserted that BIDC comes at a time in which the region suffers security and stability threats as a result of the increasing organized terrorism phenomena. The Royal Guard Deputy Commander called on the international community to take responsibility through cooperation and effective participation. He added that the world needs military and security coalitions to face terrorism and sectarianism cases more than any time before. Military experts and defense exhibitors from the region and the globe are in the kingdom to take part in the first Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference, which kicks off tomorrow. More details in this report with Mohamed Shaban. The first edition of the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference, or BIDIC 2017, is due to launch its activities on Monday. The three-day event, held under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, is expected to attract over 100 international exhibitors from over 35 countries around the globe, along with 50 official military and political delegations. The Bahrain Defense Force is organizing the event, which is considered one of the most important and largest in the Middle East, and is seen as a brand new opportunity to showcase the latest military technology, equipment and hardware across land, sea and air, as well as the showcasing of unique off-site activities such as parachute demonstrations, warship displays, shooting and military vehicle demonstrations. BIDEC will host a strategic series of conferences that will offer a forum for knowledge sharing addressing the biggest challenges in Bahrain and the wider region. The accompanying Middle East military alliances and coalition MAMAC conferences will seek to address several regional implications including the global fight against terror, the situation in Yemen, the importance of military coalition operations and defense policy formulations. Speakers will examine core issues of strategic importance within the defense industry through dedicated panel sessions and keynote speeches. Exchange of military and defense-related expertise aside, BIDEC will contribute to attracting thousands of visitors, thus promoting the Kingdom of Bahrain as a tourism and trade destination. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain International News. The organizing committee of the Bahrain International Defense Exhibition and Conference, BIDAC, has completed its preparations for the exhibition and conference, which will begin on the 16th until the 18th of October, under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The committee has organized the location of the conference according to the highest international standards. The committee has also received all the military exhibits, including vehicles, machineries, weapons, and equipment, and it received the participating delegations from overseas. 60 countries. The Ministry of Information Affairs is dedicating its energies and human resources to cover this important international event. Bahrain Television is providing its media services to all other media agencies and it will broadcast the proceedings of the conference and the accompanying exhibition to the public for the duration of the conference. We can defend ourselves with good capability against any threat. وأصبح عدوه واحد In its second weekly meeting of the fourth session of the fourth legislative term, the Shura Council, led by its chairman Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, approved the formation of the committee to respond to the royal speech of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa with 15 members from the Shura Council under the presidency of the first deputy chairman of the Shura Council, Jamal Mohammed Fakhro. The session started by notifying the members of the council of the letters of His Royal Highness Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin 
Salman al Khalifa regarding a number of draft laws. During the meeting, four members were elected to represent the Shura Council in the Executive Committee of the Parliamentary Division. The formation of the permanent committees of the Shura Council was approved according to members' preferences. The committee's chairman and deputies were named after the committees held their meetings in this regard, except for the Youth Committee. Under the patronization of the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the United Arab Emirates, the UAE Armed Forces, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the 44th World Skills Competition is being held from October the 12th to the 19th with the participation of over, of over 1,300 contestants from 59 countries. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, hailed UAE's hosting of the competition, which marked it as the first country in the Middle East to host it. The minister affirmed that Bahrain's participation in the world competition comes as a result of its effort to develop vocational and technical education. Dr. Naimi added that the kingdom was keen on organizing a national skills competition which succeeded in its last edition in attracting 220 contestants in 17 vocational and technical skills. The Minister of Housing Engineer Basim Min Yaqub Al Hamar stated that 37% of Al Ramli housing project has been completed after construction started at the beginning of this year. The ministry has commissioned four contractors to build 1,265 units out of a total of 4,501 housing units. Al Hamar noted that 34.9% was allocated as part of a plan to distribute 10,400 housing units ordered by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He added that the ministry will launch a tender to construct another 3,240 units. After its completion, a Ramli project will comprise of 4,501 units and will accommodate 29,260 residents. Various services and facilities will be available such as schools, mosques and parks. The housing minister confirmed that the Landa project was appropriated by the ministry. He commended the efforts of the project's officials, adding that the project aims to create a modern integrated community in one of the kingdom's most vital areas. Al Hamar noted that housing projects are a priority in the Gulf Development Program, which has contributed immensely to speeding up the implementation of housing units in the cities and villages of Bahrain. The minister expressed thanks to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for its support and funding of housing projects, among which is the Ramli project. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Heba Abdul Ghafoor. Bahrain Oil Share Index has closed at 1,274.36 points, marking a decrease of 0.38 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks and services sectors, and investors mainly traded in the commercial bank sector, representing 34% of the total value of traded shares. 103 equity transactions took place, including 1,429,351 shares, worth 470,761 Bahraini dinars. Themed e-commerce, a Bahraini platform for a global market, Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid Al Zayani, is patronizing the fourth 2017 e-commerce forum and exhibition. The event will take place next Tuesday in a strategic partnership with Temkin and BTEC to be attended by various commercial establishments, businessmen and people interested in the e-commerce field. The forum will focus on five main topics, including technology's role in promoting e-commerce, cloud computing solutions, importance of e-litigation and e-arbitration, and online business accelerators along with local success stories. The aim of the forum is to promote trading establishments and businesses through electronic transformation, which would contribute in developing their business-related matters and global expansion. With the percentage of individuals using Internet in Bahrain surging to 98%, the kingdom has been ranked second globally for Internet users in a key World Economic Forum report, according to the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority. 
as per the Telecommunication Services Residential Market Survey report released by the Telcom Watchdog, all respondents have access to a mobile phone and 98% of respondents have access to internet services compared to 89% in 2015, while a low percentage of respondents gave access to a fixed line service. Moreover, according to the ITU data and the Global Competitiveness Report that was published last month by the World Economic Forum, Bahrain is at the forefront of countries in terms of internet penetration and usage.